Hi, I'm Emily Rose, and it's time to meet this week's Pet of the Week. I'm here with Carol Ann Orms and her pet, Jonathan. Now, Jonathan is not your regular everyday household pet. He's more of a unique and special kind. What kind of pet is Jonathan? Jonathan is a hermit crab. He's actually a Caribbean hermit crab. Uh, some of them come from across the country and uh, other countries, but he's the type that would come from the Caribbean. So Jonathan is one of the oldest pets here at Shell Point. How old is Jonathan? I have had Jonathan for 41 and a half years this month, this wow. August. 41 uh, and a half years. And we think he's probably maybe in his 50s or even 60 okay. in reality because I've seen babies that were just hatched and they were much smaller than his baby shell. If you look here, this is the shell that he came in when I got him. That's amazing, he started off that small. That small, and he's up to this, and so I have to go to Wilford and Lee and buy him shells. He's been in shells, you know, like this, that are this size, all the way up somewhere along the way to this size. And this pink murex type, my crabs grew up in mostly in those. Mm -hmm. What intrigued you to want a hermit crab? We were riding, three of us riding to, uh, I guess it was Rehoboth on the east coast to the beach. And one girl had just read about these guys and I'd never heard of them. Nobody hardly had heard of them. And she told me how they get in and out of their shells, trade shells, and they molt and get new bodies. And I thought, oh, I gotta have one of those. So she got one, a little, well, I guess he was really little. Mm -hmm. Buster crab, she called him. And uh, then I thought, mm, I'm not so sure. But you know, after a couple of weeks, I really had to have one. So we stopped at Ocean City, Maryland, and I got Jonathan. And I know um, his name's Jonathan. So what, you know, what made you want to name him that? Well, you know, 1970, this book was written, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. It was a very popular book. It was on the front of Time Magazine. Everybody read this book. And somehow or other, I, that name just struck me, Jonathan Livingston Crab. <laughs> <laughs> so only the folks who were around then understand that name. And what kind of things does Jonathan eat? Jonathan likes special foods that I get from up in Mount Dora at the Hermit Crab Patch, where they sell a lot of foods and even hermit crabs. Uh, but I give him the thing he likes the best is brown oak leaves and crab apple tree bark, which he got at home in Maryland. And my friends up there still mail it to me all the time. Oh, and he gets nice. a brown leaf and he, I haven't tried any leaves from down here yet. We yeah. haven't tried palm trees. <laughs> How long have you and Jonathan been residents here at Shell Point? Let's see, it'll be 13 years in November. Oh wow, okay. And Jonathan, I hear, um, is famous because he is. he is the only, the oldest living hermit crab raised in captivity, is in that right? In the world. In the world, yeah. which is super unique to have him here at Shell Point. Do you know that there's a girl in charge of the Crab Street Journal website, I named that by the way, and I was on it for years and then I just stayed off of it. Well, I thought I'd better let them know that he was 40 and they all started writing to me and uh, the one who runs it now, it's quite a sight to go on. And um, she just hooked up with Indonesia. There's a crab club in Indonesia. The first thing they asked her when she wrote to them was, do you know Carol? You're famous, you and Jonathan are famous all we the way are. to Indonesia. I know. What is um, your favorite thing about having Jonathan, a hermit crab, as your pet? My favorite thing is that it's just you know, people say, how can you love something like that? Well, I do love him, and I know where he is all the time. He follows me around this apartment. He goes in the living, in a, uh, dining room. He goes out on all night. I'm on my computer. He's just fun. And, you know, you can't have something half your life and not be fond of him. Yeah. I just want to thank you, Carol Ann and Jonathan, for joining us for this week's Pet of the Week. This is a very interesting and my first experience with a hermit crab, so this is very exciting. I know, it's and, exciting to me every day. Yeah, and we are so glad to have Jonathan here at Shell Point. 
making history with us. It's right. so great. Well, thank you again, Carol Ann, for being on this week's edition of Pet of the Week. You're welcome.